It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and welcome to today's prediction analysis. As I told you guys, if you haven't joined our Telegram channel, you have to. When you join our Telegram channel, you'll find details on how to join the VIP service. I keep telling you guys that these aren't normal times, but we're able to win on a consistent basis on our Telegram uh, VIP channel, our VIP channel, right? And it's been very, very consistent. Last week was excellent. Five tickets out of five were successful. And I showed you guys the evidence in the Telegram channel, if you guys are there. And uh, today too, the very first ticket for this week will be out tonight. The games will begin tomorrow. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you are incapable of editing matches, looking through the nuances, and understanding what to play and how to go about it, and you don't want to, if you want to stop losing excessively, you should really look into the VIP service. I'm not forcing anybody, right? I mean, this is strictly for people who would want to take their opportunity to the next level. So I, I told you guys that these expiring leaks are our problem. These old leaks are our problem. And I just cannot wait for these leaks to finish. Right? You saw what happened. How they set off dealt with us yesterday. That's a clear example of a leak that should have wrapped up but hasn't wrapped up. Every other game was successful. So the point I'm trying to make is that I just cannot wait for all these old leaks to just wrap up and be gone completely, you know. Because the players are fatigued. Most of them just want to go on vacation. And it, I don't think you can blame them. A good number of them have uh, played, played for so long and need a break. So that's why what we will do going forward is that we are going to focus majorly on, um, you know, fresher leaks or the smaller leaks. Fresher leaks or smaller leaks. So today we've um, taken time to analyze three games. As I told you, I'll be doing two videos every day of three games each. Three games each. So this is the first of the two videos for today. And the odd is too odd, just too odd, because I want to see how we can return to winning ways. So the first game on the ballot is Malmo Elfsborg from the Sweden Halswenken League. So when you look at uh, this Malmo team, they're a team that is averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals at home. Uh, they score and also concede. When you look at Elfsborg, Elfsborg has been in very poor shape. And is also averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals away from home. Head to head shows that this is a fixture that usually produces goals whenever they play. And when you check your standings, you realize that this Malmo team wants to finish first. Because if they get to finish first, they'll qualify automatically for the Champions League. That's the motivation here. And it's big business. For these small teams to qualify and get into the Champions League. On the other hand, you have Elfsborg, position 8, trying to climb up as well. So the point I'm trying to make is that Malmo wants to win as many games as possible and as quickly as possible. So they can move up the table, they can consolidate their position on the table and finish first at the end of the season. So the prediction is simple. There will be a lot of goals in this game. Expect Ellsberg to score. Expect Malmo to also score as well. So I'm going with over two goals in 90 minutes. This fixture should comfortably produce over two goals in 90 minutes. And they all for over again. Let, let me let me make this clarification. I saw someone. There, there is a guy in in the comment section. I don't know where he's from. Who was like there was a game that I predicted over two goals. But he's just too small-minded to understand that there is a difference between over two goals and over 2.5 goals. Over two goals is when you have over two goals, it simply means 
if the game finishes just two goals, you'll be refunded. You don't lose the bet. But if I said over 2.5 goals, what that means is that if the game doesn't produce three goals, then the bet loses. So, but the guy came and was like, I predicted over two goals. It finished two goals. He lost the bet. Doesn't make sense. I have, I really predict over 2.5 goals. So this prediction, let me say it again, because I know he's watching before he comes and writes something that is not true. This prediction is over two goals, not over 2.5 goals. So the game, the bet only loses if the match doesn't produce up to two goals. But if it finishes just two goals, you don't lose the bet. You'll, you'll be refunded. And it's not a loss. So the odd for over two goals is 1.26. The next fixture is from the Saudi Arabia Division 1. It's Al Qadisia versus Al Safar. Now, when you look at this home team, they've been in very, very excellent form. Four wins and just one loss at home. You expand to 10 matches and it's interesting that they have gone 10 games and have only lost once. El Safa has equally been in good form and they have uh, drawn three times and won twice away from home. But the reason why this game will matter for the home team is because they are position one and they are trying to wrap up their title. So if they win today and I think another game also, then they will be in poor position to win. They would have been able to put away competition and ensure that the second place team won't come close. So this is a game they have to win so that they can uh, consolidate, you know, finish their season strong. Okay, they've already been confirmed as champions. That's great. They've already been confirmed as champions. But they're not going to lose this game. The reason why they are not going to lose this game is that the away team isn't in a threatening position. Uh, the away team too has secured a uh, survival. So they don't have anything to lose. I mean, they away team. So it's for these reasons that I'm giving a draw no bet for the home team. The home team should not have a problem winning this game in 90 minutes. So a draw no bet for the home team is priced at 1.26. And finally, for the Australia Bundesliga Conference League playoff, you have Hartburg and Austria Vienna. It's interesting that the first leg of this fixture ended two goals to one. Austria Vienna winning by two goals to one uh, in their home. And Hartburg is welcoming them today. And they will know that it's not over, right? They still have a chance of progressing. If they're able to score a few goals. And when you look at Hartsburg at home, they're averaging 2.5 goals at home, as you can see. Uh, they're scoring also concede. Austria Vienna is averaging a minimum of two goals away from home. And head to head shows that this fixture has always produced 2.5 goals every time they have played. So the prediction for this fixture is simple. Right, this game will produce over two goals for sure. Oh, over two goals, not over two point five goals. Over two goals, and the odd for over two goals is one point two four. So these are the matches we have for you guys. Uh, of course, you have the booking code, the sporty bet, and the one x bet for your benefits. And I want to wish you guys nothing but the very best. Do subscribe to this channel. Uh, join our Telegram channel. It's in the comment section. The first comment in the comment section. Join the Telegram channel for more winning tips and packages. Thank you.